Chapter Two: Deal or Not Deal. The after school program? No, not the after school program. Anything but that. After school program is bad enough. I had to go to school a million hundred hours during the day. Now I have to go to after school. School's over. I thought I was gonna die. This was the worst thing to happen to me since TV's turn off week. My life was finished. I can't just pull my eyeballs out instead of sending me to the after school program. I asked my mom. That would be more fun. The after school program will be more fun, AJ. She told me, "You're going to play games, sing songs, make projects, and be with your friends. That's got to be better than sitting around the house watching app TV after school. I like sitting around and watching TV after school." I told her. What could be better than sitting around and house watching TV? No matter what I said, I couldn't talk her out of it. My mom was going to back to work, and I had to in the after school program. When I met my friends walking to the school Friday morning, I couldn't tell they were disappointed. I guess you heard. The bad news," said Michael, who never ties his shoes. "Yeah," said Michael. "Who'll eat anything? Even that stuff isn't food." Sorry, today we have to go to the after-school program. This is horrible," said Neil, who we called Neil the new kid. Even his wear clothes. This was the worst day of my life. Our lives were over. I said, "Bummer in the summer." That's when Andrea Young, this annoying girl with curly brown hair, came skipping down the street. She was with her crybaby baby friend Emily. Did you hear the news? And just then, all is silent. Our moms are starting a company visit. And are going to be in the after-school program. Ah!、Uh, not only I have to go to the school program after school, but I have to go to school after school with little Miss Noel Andrea. I was definitely the worst day in history of the world. It was in a bad mood all day long. I couldn't concentrate on anything. My teacher, Mr. Granite, was saying all the time I couldn't think about the after-school program. Just before the three o'clock, the bell rang. We had to go to all pup-pup-size room for an assembly. I sat next to Ryan, little Miss Perfect. Sat on front of us. Our principal, Mr. Clutch, got up the stage. We had he has no hair at all. I mean none. They should use hat to light bulbs and to send send ships at sea. Mr. Clutch held up his hand and make a peace sign, which is shut up. I had to annoy her. Make she told us first. Please welcome our new healthy teacher, Miss Lake. Our we clapped, so some lady got up off the stage. She looked really healthy. What is called assembly? We don't stop anything together. So I guess it's a good. She is a healthy teacher. Second, Mr. Claude Allen said, elementary schools had to go into the food drive. Food drive! I whispered to Ryan. What's up with that? Pools can't drive. That would be weird. Have a chicken driving on your car? No, dumbhead! Ryan whispered back. A fry, fry, food drive isn't when a chicken drives your car. It's when you drive a chicken around your car. Why would anybody want to drive a chicken out in your car? I asked Ryan. Andrea turned around, rolled her eyes, and said, "Shh." 
A food drive is when you collect food for new need needy people. Mr. Cross announced, "Oh, I knew that." Mr. Cross told us there are、uh, lots of kids who don't have enough to eat. Hunger is a big problem in our country," she said. "So we are going to collect as much as food we can bring to a food bank." Food bank, Mr. Ryan. Who puts a food in a bank? It wouldn't smell bad after a while. How would we fit food in a bag anyway, Ryan, Mr. Bank? Who can push through litter slide? Food should be put in a refrigerator. Mr. Clutch probably keeps money in the refrigerator. I whisper, Ryan laughed, and Andrea turned around. Again, so she can roll her eyes and shush us. What is our problem? Why can a bank full of food fall on our head? A food bank is a place to give food to a hungry people. Mr. Clutch told us. I knew that, Ryan. I whispered to Ryan. And to help you kids get extra about our food drive, I will make a deal with you. Mr. Clutch says, "If you collect three thousand pounds of food, I will jump up the airplane and an ape suit land on the roof of the school." Wow! We say, which is mom upside down. Mr. Clutch has been talking first, less ever signs up to principal camp. She, he loves jumping off planes. Thousand, three thousand pounds. Michael collect out. That's lots of food, Mister Clutch. How about we collect two thousand pounds? Three thousand pounds of food, Mister Clutch replied. That's final offer. Take it or leave it. We'll take it. We all shouted. It would be hundred to see Mister Clutch jump off the plane and in an ape suit. Not much principle or wearing the to dust up like that. Mister Clutch is not.